Now to a positive story with an interesting twist. Residents of Langalanga Estate in Nakuru City today witnessed the wedding of a couple whose height caught the attention of many. Hundreds of residents turned up to witness the modestly planned wedding as the two humble souls united into one. Our reporter Ken Gashohi attended the nuptials and brings us this story of joy. Sunday afternoon at the Langalanga SDA Church in Nakuru City, the venue was modestly decorated for the wedding of Stephen Chalo and the love of his life, Magdalene Kayondo. <music> this was not a usual wedding to many who came here to get a glimpse of the short couple who had an almost matching height exchange their vows. The witnesses had to be on their feet for a clear view of the love buzz as their parents majestically walked them down the aisle. The union of these love buds proving that the most beautiful love stories come in different shapes and sizes and a testament to the power of love overcoming societal expectations. After their first kiss, the newlyweds narrated that a mucho friend linked them up. And with that, the two embarked on formalizing their relationship and organizing a wedding which had a humbling budget. To Stephen, the wedding was a surprise from his wife. He was here to pay part of the dowry only to find that Magdalene, through her friends, had it all figured out. struggle <laughs> It is a union that has been celebrated by many who witnessed it. Nawaombea amani ya Kristo endelee kutawala katika ndoa yao na wazidi kujiandaa kwa ajili ya kurudi kwa Yesu na mara ya pili wakimfanyia Mungu kazi. Leo niko na furaha mingi sana kuwa katika kikao hiki na sana sana kushuhudia hii harusi ya Steve na Magi. Magi die nimekuwa nikijua tangu nihamie hapa Nakuru 2019. Ni msichana ninajua ni mzuri, ni mpole. For me I feel like crying because wame wame pass through a lot. Na what I'm going to do sitaacha kuwaombea nitawa support through my prayers advice the two at the moment do not have a job to sustain them and have appealed on any potential employer to come to their rescue they left the venue with no plans for a honeymoon and unsure of what tomorrow holds for them ken gashuhi ktn news members